just looking back to Tuesday, how frustrating was that? And was it almost, you know, the season summed up in in one match in a sense? Uh, no, nah, not really. Not really summed up in one match. Of course, we were unfortunate uh, with the first ten. The second one was unlucky as well. But um, yeah, I think um, yeah, the first the first ten was unfortunate from the, from the ref, of course, but. After that, I think we created a lot, um, and I think that's maybe a bit uh, what um, what it has been like this season, like creating chances but not, not finishing it. Um, so I think that's that's something like it. But um, yeah, I think because of the because of the two pens and the way we the way we played after, uh, we showed a lot of balls. Um, but um, I think we need to start games that way and even play that way when we're nil-nil or one-nil up. And did you realise what that the first penalty had been given for? No, no, no. I didn't know. I, I, I think I thought last pushed him in the back or something, or maybe even an elbow to his head or something. I didn't, I didn't see it. But um, he pointed, to, he pointed, he pointed, the ref pointed at me. Saying, uh, yeah, you completely wiped him out. So I'm giving a free kick uh, penalty. That's what he said. So I'm like, what? But yeah, things things like that happen. Uh, everybody makes mistakes. And another thing to come from Tuesday was the um, kind of the lack of centre backs that <laughs> that are seemingly going down like flies at the minute. Obviously losing TJ and, and Adam and having lost Joe Walsh a couple of weeks ago. Um, is it weird to, or is it frustrating for you to have to sort of not be able to build a partnership because you know it's it's constantly changing? Mm, maybe, but um, known these guys for a while now. They were here last season as well, so it's not it's not hard to play with them. Or um, and I think every time. TJ plays or, or Jacko plays. Um, they do everything right. They fill in. They fill in the position. So um, yeah, unfortunately, Joe Walsh has been out for time now. But uh, I think TJ and, and Jacko both uh, do a great job when they are in the team. And how did you find it playing alongside Regan Paul for the sec- most of the second half on on Tuesday? Yeah, it was uh, it was nice to see him there actually. Uh, yeah, I think uh, very lively. Uh, did a great job. Uh, spoke spoke to him about it, and he said uh, he said he he was he always was a centre half actually until he went to MK Dons, and I think only 10, 15 games uh, before he came to Lincoln, he played on the right back position. So that was quite interesting. Do you feel like the clean sheets are are on the way? That soon enough that there will be a lot of clean sheets that you can build from. Uh, yeah, of course, but to keep a clean sheet there, uh, you have to do loads of things. I think, um, uh, goals change game. So if it's still zero, zero, uh, over no, no in the 18th minute and we don't score, um, it's, it's going to be hard for us or for the opponent to keep a clean sheet because they're both of the teams are going to play with a bit more risk. So I think if we if we are the ones that score the first goal, I think it's it's a bit more easy to, to keep a clean sheet as well. Um, but besides that, we need to do everything as we can, um, everything we can to keep a clean sheet most of the games, and concede as less as possible to like get points because I know at the moment scoring is a bit hard. And as a playing group, obviously it's a bit of a tough run at the minute. But he's still sort of staying together. He's still staying confident that it'll turn around soon. Yeah, yeah. Everything is. Uh, everybody's staying together. Um, the the every, the everybody's quite happy still at the club. So um, it's not that we are all uh, with our heads down and uh, everybody's trying to figure out a way to sort of get out of this. Um, and I think I think that helps a lot to to um, that everybody has the same 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 view to uh, get out of this and um, everybody is is willing to work hard for it so, uh, so that's nice when we've spoken to you before you've you've kind of been honest with us and said that the, it was the physical side of the game that that maybe took you a little bit by surprise in England and that that's what you wanted to improve on are you feeling that you're getting better at that physical side of the game now 
Um, yeah, I think obviously the amount of games I, I play uh, helps helps a lot to um, to learn everything. Uh, and at this level as well, um, play against big strikers um, helps me a lot. To I can learn a lot of that. Um, so yeah. And what if Cheltenham tomorrow? What do you expect from them? If they had a, a tough result in midweek, you hope to, to be able to capitalise on that? Um, yeah, I think if I look at us, everybody is ready to go again and, and willing to do whatever it takes to get a win, um, to play against a club who, uh, who just got a quite a big hit. On the on the on Tuesday, maybe we can get a can get a advantage of that. So um, yeah, hopefully get a win away from home.